Lakeshore Towers um, came together back in the um, early 60s. My father had built one apartment complex on uh, Southwest 16th. He had been a home builder before, but um, apartments meant cash flow, monthly cash flow. And when you go through the ups and downs of recessions in the 50s and 60s, apartments were just a gold mine. My dad had a lot on 8th Avenue. His grocery store burned to the ground one night before I was born. He had held on to it for years. And one day, um, a person wanted to um, trade their land, it was like four and a half, five acres, on Southwest 13th Street for that lot on 8th Avenue. And this is what it looked like before it burned. It was the first modern grocery store in Gainesville. It went from a produce stand with no electricity in, the in uh, 1939 to the first modern grocery store without shutting down for business. So he traded that and that's how Lakeshore Towers came about. He had a vision for a high rise. I don't know why, but that property is so unique. Every view from every corner of that building, every side, is um, there's a gorgeous view. As to why I'm selling now, I realized the property was over 50 years old, 1965. There needed to be major uh, renovation. So my dad and I, uh, all of our strengths and weaknesses played off each other perfectly to create this property. And we just realized we couldn't do um, everything. And as time wore on, because we were still managing apartments, the mobile home park, and some of this uh, commercial property, and we just realized we couldn't keep doing that anymore. Understand you are in Gainesville. You are overlooking Bivens Arm Lake. You have views of that prairie. That is gold, and nobody in the state has views like this. Ooh, I feel so good about this listing. This is the most iconic, tallest apartment building in all of Gainesville. 116 units on seven plus acres and developable land for another 100 plus units right down from UF. And the 12th story views, what? Oh, as a Gainesville resident and commercial broker for over 20 years, I can tell you today I may have reached the pinnacle of my career. It's not the most expensive listing. It's the incredible rich history. It's the incredible family that owns it, the butlers. And it's the fact that the same family built this property 55 years ago in 1965. Can you imagine being a resident here? You're with your significant other, you're having a lovely evening together and a glass of wine with views like this. Gosh, what a wonderful evening. I'm so blessed to be with you. You look so beautiful tonight. I feel fortunate to be at Lakeshore Towers with you. God, I love you. Oh, and by the way, the views of the football stadium O-Dome, boom. Lakeshore Towers is located within one mile of the University of Florida, the Malcolm Randall VA Center, Shands Hospital, City College next door, and it's just a few minutes from over 3 million square feet of retail, restaurants, banks, groceries, movie theaters, and commerce from Butler Plaza and Celebration Point. Due to the location, this property could be conventional, it could be student housing, or it could be both. Now there's 116 units total. 16 are studios, we got 78 one bedrooms, and 22 two-bedroom, two-baths. There are also two cell tower leases 
with T-Mobile and AT&T for $101,000 a year net. What? Now there's two value add components with this building. Number one, the building is completely vacant. You can make it what you want. And it's built of concrete steel. In addition, the second thing is we have additional land, seven acres total in this offering, where you can build up to 100 more units. What? Now, tenants pay electric, individually metered, and the landlord pays water and sewer, but I would definitely be billing back with some sort of rub system. Am I fast or what? Now, while there are no washer and dryer hookups in each of the units, there are laundry facilities on each of the 12 floors. We got you covered. And now we're gonna tour one of the studios. 16 studios total, welcome. And now it's time for the one bedrooms. 78 total one bedrooms. Enjoy yourself. And lastly, the two bedroom, two baths, 22 units. Let's go. Now we are in Florida, you know how hot it gets out here, you gotta have your pool. This is where the pool used to be, it has since been removed, and we've got the bathrooms and mechanical rooms here. Just reinstall the pool and you'll be looking real nice. And now we'll drive in the entrance right from Southwest 13th Street. On the left here is where the 1.39 acres is where one of the buildings can go. Next up, the green space is another potential building number two. Check out all the parking. You know how brokers are always putting in their marketing value add? Well, let me tell you something. With Lakeshore Towers, don't you dare call me and ask me if there's enough value add in this property. Whoever buys this property, there's going to be press releases written about them. They're going to be in newspapers. They're going to be on the news channel. This buyer is going to be legendary. You know what to do. Bring me an offer. 